What is going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome to Atama Chef. Atama Chef? I think it's Atama Chef. I think it's how you pronounce it. Anyways, welcome to Atama Chef, where you make your own self making kitchen that makes food for you. It's a fantastically good time. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So, information about the game comes out July 23rd. There is a free demo currently on the Steam page. I'll have that link down below. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into campaign. So, I played the entire first campaign basic tutorial uh, while not recording, and I thought it was. So, we're going to jump into this one where I know a little bit of things already. But uh, yeah, we're back. We're doing some more stuff. So, in the first tutorial, quick wrap up, we placed down some basic arms, uh, some dumb arms, a assembler, a grill, and dispensers. And then we made a plain burger. So, five orders have to be fulfilled risks none recipe cheeseburger okay it's time to learn how to make kitchens more efficient so we don't waste any ingredients or energies but first i need you to finish this kitchen layout currently its layout is suited for plain burgers but i need you to produce cheeseburgers it's always a good idea to first look at the recipe first see what ingredients are needed so we know what machines to place click on recipe to view the cheeseburger okay so we're gonna go up to recipes so we need cheese to a cheese slice to a cheeseburger so, we need to process it into a cheese slice. Alrighty. Wait, this assembler already has two robot arms feeding ingredients into it, which is the maximum it can support. If we add cheese into the transport assembler conveyor belts the burger buns use, the robotic arm that is currently picking up a burger bun will pick up any ingredients, so it will be able to place the cheese slice into the assembler too. Uh, click on the dispenser. Yeah, let's place the dispenser. Okay, it wants me to place it here. So let's go ahead and rotate it like that. Uh, right click on the dispenser. And we want cheese. Yeah. Alrighty. But we're going to have to process it. We're going to turn it into a cheese slice. We're going to have to go through a food processor. Probably, yep, right there. Fantastic. The food processor requires no additional setup. It will automatically process any ingredients that passes through it. Some more advanced dishes will require ingredients to be processed multiple times. Oh, it's because we like our processed food, right? Now, we just need to configure. Okay, so configure this guy. We want it to be a cheeseburger. Perfect. Now hit start. I think it it should be it should be fairly straightforward. Okay, there's a patty. <gasps> there's a cheese slice. Picking it up, putting it on the uh, the assembler. This is a smart assembler. It is waiting for a cooked patty. All right, so I'm guessing that this one, we're going to figure out how to make only what we need and nothing extra because we're probably going to be making extra stuff anyways. All right, so we got one. All right, uh, contents. Two burger buns, one cheese slice. Yeah, see, we have extra burger buns and extra cheese slices. We don't need all that. We only need, we only need what we need. So I'm guessing that's what we're going to be going over. All right, we've done it. This kitchen has a flaw. It will endlessly produce cheeseburgers. What kind of waste of ingredients and more importantly, electricity? Misuse of electrons makes me feel sad and angry. Ingredients are constantly being dispensed on the when the, and the grill is always on. If no one has ordered a cheeseburger, that cannot be allowed. We can fix this by placing an order reader to ensure cheeseburgers are prepared only when enough when an order comes through. Select on the order processor. Okay. Place that there. Right click on the order processor reader and set it up to detect cheeseburger. Okay, so cheeseburger. Now that the order reader will detect what, whenever a cheeseburger order is placed, we can use it to control up to four other machines. So we want to go to here. Uh, perform action one time on new order. Um, perform action. So perform action one time on new order. All right, excellent. Add new connection. So on this, this is a raw patty. So we're probably gonna wanna do the same thing. Uh, perform action uh, one time on order. And then this guy, perform action one time on new order. And then this guy, electric grill, lift click this. Okay, perfect. Um, turn on Pending. On while order is pending. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so now 
it should only make what we need and nothing more <gasps> oh because you have over here energy used ingredients used uh on the left there will be customer's order will appear i'll simulate some customer's order and simulate makes it sound like a machine how how humorous okay restaurant orders will appear here oh cheeseburger cheeseburger is wanted somebody wants a cheeseburger <gasps> and they all produce just one thing how amazing oh another cheeseburger's wanted people fire up those machines all right oh six burgers what but we only need five but you can see my ingredients usage is way lower my energy usage is probably lower too because these aren't actually on right now uh and then i think that's gonna be number five right there i like how these are just going into an incinerator right now <laughs> i'm sure we'll eventually be setting up an actual uh actual place hey we did it yeah all right cool can i build like an actual place oh <gasps> yeah here we go this is like an actual looking shop fantastic okay 10 orders have to be fulfilled power use has to be less than 500 watts use fewer than 40 ingredients we have cheeseburgers and basic cheeseburgers <gasps> oh okay all right the time has come reign of mankind's hunger is about to end here's the first kitchen it's empty now let's think of the potential Here's the plan. We scale up quickly, opening numerous kitchens and serving more complex meals as our technology improves. We gain the trust of the public, get some coverage, becoming a popular trust. Then when everyone's eating our food, we'll... You'll have to wait. <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's start off simple. Offering a cheeseburger and a plain cheeseburger. After all, you can easily produce this. All right. So are you going to let me do the things myself? <gasps> I think it is. I think it is. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to need a assembler. That's going to have to happen. So let's go ahead and get it. Uh, I have to keep in mind we need a, a grabber. So let's place that. Let's place it right here. Cool. Okay, cost. We have to keep the cost down. And then I need a basic cheeseburger, a regular cheeseburger. So blueprints. Uh, One cheeseburger. So we need one, two, three. Okay. Uh, Dispenser. We're going to need... Let's see. One, two, three. And then we're going to need an electric grill on one of these bad boys. So if I put it right there, that should work. And then a food processor right there, that should work. And then a oh wait no 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 i need a robotic arm a dumb arm for there and then a conveyor belt to go from here to there and then here to there and then a smart arm from here uh right click on this guy operation mode uh filter we're gonna go to a hooked patty okay and then you are going to go to right here. Ooh, I don't know. Can I do a dumb arm here and here? Okay, so now this one. Actually, can I rotate this? Okay, so no, I want it to go right there. But I think I need it to do... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, cancel. So you actually need to be facing this way. And then it's going to have to do one of these maneuvers. Okay. And then I also need, where is the order reader? All right, we got a plain burger. Let's see. I don't think it's, no cheese should come out. <gasps> oh, I just realized, flaw, flaw, flaw. This one needs to be moved back here. Very belt to there. Right? Yeah, I think because this couldn't actually go out, so we couldn't pick it up anything. Okay, I think that's I think that was the mistake that I made. All right, we got an order, plain burger. Let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't set the dispensers up to dispense anything. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, plain burger. Oh, the cheese still came out. Well, I mean, it did order a cheeseburger too. Uh oh. I think I should have hooked it up so the cheese was on a different order thing. Uh, but then the plain burger would have worked. 
Uh, oh, no! Assembler! Oh, no, I keep messing it. <laughs> oh, man. Operation mode. Normal. Lure speed to follow. Cheeseburger. Oh, I have to have two separate ones? Oh. Well, that changes everything. Alrighty, I think I got it. So, I actually was getting close to 50,000. But I think I had to have two separate machines. One making cheeseburgers, one making hamburgers. So, I have a cheeseburger line and a hamburger line. And it looks kind of crazy, but essentially, you know, burger comes out, gets cooked. This guy drops over here and then, boop, it should work. Let's see. I guess we'll see if it works. The power usage is going to be rough. Hopefully, everything's okay. All right, plain burgers. Two plain burgers have been ordered. One cheeseburger. Let's see how it works. I think it'll work. We're looking good. So far, so good. Everything's working. I was expecting this first level to be like super easy. Uh, I this this isn't like super complex, but I was expecting it to be easier than what it was. <laughs> See, you know what I mean? Uh, our energy usage is going absolutely insane. I don't think I'm gonna make it for energy usage. I don't really know though. I think it's because I have so many conveyors. I'm already halfway there. Like I have to. We, I seriously have to start making some faster stuff. Oh no! I don't know if we're gonna make it. Six, seven. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be super close. I'm sure there was probably a much easier way to do this and I just like ruined it, but. <laughs> uh oh. Nine. One more. We've done it. Oh my gosh. That was very close. That was very close. Efficiency 53%. Why was it 50? Uh, by configuring machines to use lower low air, lower energy modes. Be used to turn on and turn off machines for a set amount of time. I order just two. Oh my gosh. If an ingredient is required by multiple dishes, potentially use an order reader detecting multiple dish types to dispense that ingredient and then send it to the appropriate assembler to cut down on unnecessarily duplicate machines. Oh. Kitchen reports. There's no kitchen events to show. Continue. Okay. Uh, so definitely got to play. I bet you I probably could have done it with half the machines. Probably. Let us begin. Oh gosh, we got to do lettuce now. This is this just things are getting crazy. Uh, doubling down. Deliver 20 meals. Keep the water power under. Use food or the food. Street food, burger frenzy, cheesy does it, griller tactics, power usage, power usage tutorial. Oh, neato. Okay, uh, let us begin then. All right, five orders to be filled. Power usage has be less than 400 watt hours. Use fewer than 35 ingredients. And this is a, what is this, a BLT? Uh, those burgers were a success. The, the public was ecstatic and different towards them. Uh, give us feedback as, yes, it had taste. And stop asking me questions. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, cool. So now, okay, let's, we can do this. All right, what do we have to do? A BLT. What is a BLT? Oh, geez. Two bread slices, one tomato, one lettuce, and one bacon strip. Uh, okay, so processor grill two grills one processor four dispensers okay cool so let's start with the dispensers one two three and four okay cool and then i'm just gonna go from top to bottom uh so we're gonna need grill actually we could probably combine one grill for both of these oh can we re we could actually probably require we could probably have i think a grill can hold four so if I did one, two, three, and four, I think that would work off of one grill. Actually, yeah, we might be able to handle that. Let's see if we can figure this out. All right, we got attempt number one here. The odds I did this correctly the first time, probably slim to die, but we have our bread and bacon being projected over here to the grill. We have this guy picking up crispy bacon, crispy bacon. this guy's picking up uh, toasted bread putting them on here to a thing that just grabs everything and puts it on here. Now, I can't hook up the grill because I don't have enough money to do that. Actually, yeah, no, I don't have. Hmm. I could move this up by one. I don't know if that'll save me any money, though. Do I have enough for another order reader? Nope. $500. All right, we're just going to try it. We're going to see how it goes. 
and hope for the best. All right, first BLT coming up. Does everything work as it should? Okay. Looks good. All right, another piece of bread. Crispy bread. Brought down in there. Bacon. All right, that looks good. Energy usage is quite high. We have to make five of these. I don't think we're going to make it. Because just sitting there with that grill on, I think I went through like 100 energy already. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to be close. Oh, I think we're going to make it. It's going to be super close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 35 ingredients. Oh, we did it. Oh, my gosh. We maxed out ingredients. We almost maxed out power. <laughs> oh, things are getting rough. 58% efficiency. Um, I, You know, I'm sure I'm doing something wrong here. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong, but that's going to end this game, this gameplay, this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. Link down below if you guys are interested in this. It looks like they have quite a bit to do. Like, a lot. Oh my gosh. New creation? Something on the side. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to do. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I had a good time. It's fun. And I'm going to tell you right now, I had to th really think about a, things, a few things while I was making this stuff. And I, I'm probably missing something. I'm probably doing something completely wrong. But it's all right. It's fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.